I started working at McDonald's in Detroit, April 2015. Um, it was it was going good. Everything was good, actually. So I thought um, I was taking orders for the customers and I had a headset on. And through a headset, a manager came, voice came through the headset and was saying, you have to feel from the back. You can't feel from the front. And so another crew member, Kelly, approached me and she proceeded to stick her hand in between my legs from the back to see if, do I say this? If, if I had a penis. <laughs> um, I am transgender, but I have never dealt with anything like that, especially in a work field. I mean, of course you get hate from people on the street, but never in a job place. A manager came and told me that I had to clean out a bathroom, which I thought was a storage room. I had to clean out a bathroom. And when I got finished cleaning out, I started asking questions like, well, why am I cleaning out this bathroom? Normally we'll have help. Other crew members will clean up together. Like, why am I the only one clean out this bathroom? Well, this is the bathroom you're going to be using, is what she replied. No, no one did anything about it, like as far as the managers, any, any, any of the, uh, any of the people above the managers, like, uh, the owner of the McDonald's, um, nobody. When I spoke to management about the incident that happened with my crew member, they actually took me off the schedule and they cut my hours. So with that being said, it was even more stressful, even more depressing. I thought I should take a lot of pills and I could not, I could go to sleep and not wake up anymore and everything would be so much better because then I would not be transgender. I would not have to experience the stuff that I experienced um, at McDonald's.